Hey guys, Jess here, and you're watching GTV. Today, we're talking about GoShield Siloxitec 8510. Before we begin, we have a few concrete samples here, treated and untreated, that we're gonna expose to some engine oil so we can review the results at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna draw up some oil, and we're gonna put it on the untreated and then the treated sample. So we can clearly see the performance of the sample that's been treated with the 8510, whereas the untreated sample is already starting to soak in the oil. Besides having a crazy technical name, the Siloxitec 8510 is a silane siloxane based product with a proprietary fluorocarbon. The Siloxitec 8510 is a silane siloxane based product with a proprietary fluorocarbon, which makes it able to resist any sort of automotive fluids. Unlike an epoxy or a film forming coating, the 8510 is going to leave a completely invisible natural finish. Some other advantages, most importantly, are cost. When it comes to a coating, you're spending about three to six dollars a square foot. And when it comes to the 8510, you're only spending about 40 to 80 cents a square foot, which means you're saving one third to one tenth of the cost. Okay, so what are the cons? And most importantly, how much oil does the 8510 repel? All concrete is different. Depending on your surface profile, if your concrete is broom finished or polished, you're gonna get different results. The 8510 is an oil repellent. It's not an oil proof coating. So if you're a homeowner, someone that tinkers in their garage, or even a commercial auto repair shop, depending on your budget, the 8510 might be the perfect product for you. So how long can you count on the 8510 to repel oil? That's a good question. Realistically, it's all gonna depend on use. One of the advantages of the 8510 is that if you notice a decrease in performance, you can simply reapply it, as opposed to a coating system where you have to completely grind the surface before reapplication. If you apply the 8510 and down the road you decide you want to go with an epoxy coating system because you inherited a bunch of money or won the lottery, you can. All you have to do is your regular surface prep and you're good to go. Who doesn't like options? All right, now it's time to check on our samples. And I know it might seem like we applied it just a few minutes ago, but it's actually been a few hours based on how many times I had to reshoot these takes. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, it's Jess. And today, <laughs> what am I saying again? <sighs> okay. As we can see with the untreated sample, this, oh my goodness. As you can see from our untreated sample, the concrete is completely stained, the oil has fully soaked in, and it's not beading. As opposed to the treated sample, which hasn't absorbed the oil, it's still beading, and it's still repelling. So let's see how easy it cleans up. I conveniently happen to have a glass of water and some soap here. First, I'm gonna start with the untreated sample. And it is not budging, it's not coming off. And now let me try the treated sample. So as you can see, the treated sample was a lot easier to clean. The oil didn't soak in, and although there's a little bit of residual, I'm sure if I used something other than a paper towel and some Dawn dish soap, it would easily clean up. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And on that note, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit GoShield.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.